I'm about to share something with you guys. I'll give you guys some honest truth and introspection, which I always give you, but introspection is a very critical part of who I am, what I'm about, and what I do. And the reality of life is we have emotions, we have emotional attachments. However, life does not care about either and how we feel about them individually, in tandem, collectively, whatever, okay? And one of the things is, we sometimes get very, very much, hold on, this train going by. I'm channeling Kanye here. We sometimes get too caught up in the emotional elements of life. And which is normal, totally normal, right? It's totally normal. However, those that, those that succeed and those who do not, the gap between them, oftentimes, if not most times, directly correlate and ties into your ability to do either one. How well are you at separating your emotions from the harsh realities of life? Like, repeat this, I'm mean, gonna repeat this. Life does not give a fuck about what you feel about how it operates and how we operate within it. All that we're here to do, all that we're here to do is, all that we're here to do is have our DNA breed, pass it down, so it can sustain and, uh, what's the word? Continue, essentially. That's all we're here to do. That's all we're here to do. And everything supports that, love, reproduction supports that objective that's the primary objective now how well that DNA is like is to improve the DNA as well and that's and that's what comes down to how well do we do things while we're here and becoming successful obviously we have individual needs even though that's the overriding objective that we need to, to whether we like it or not we can still do things to fulfill ourselves it all supports that larger thing I hope you can hear me because I'm walking on the streets of New York and this goes back to the point. And this, let me get to the point while I'm making this video. One of the things that I do, I always say, I know three to five things. Other than that, I'm a complete idiot. I'm a complete idiot. The overwhelming majority of y'all watching this right now are far more talented than me. Far more. I'll bet my, far more. But it's not about that. One of the things I do extremely well is that I know how to create superstars. I know how to fucking extract excellence. I know how to get the best out of people and get you to get the best out of you. Look, look at me. Right now, I have a brain injury. Since 2008, that prevents me from operating at the same capacity as the average human being, okay? I operated around 60% of the average human being. But you know what? The good news is, on average, the human beings, human beings, we use 5% of our brain capacity. So there's plenty to spare, okay? There's plenty to spare, all right? Okay, one of the ways that I do that, if you read our culture doctrine, I'd be fucking glad to share it so you guys see what it is that we do and what's required. One of the things is, every single day in order to grow and become successful, you have to go through discomfort. You have to be pushed outside your comfort zone, you have to feel like you're an idiot, you have to feel like you're totally uncomfortable, you have to feel like you don't know what you're doing because that's the way we grow. It's the price of admission. And you, and it's, it's the truth, it's like working out. You need to break your, I'm gonna show the hurting because I'm holding this. You have to break your muscles down. You have to break your muscles down so they can say, wait a minute, I didn't like how this felt. Let me get stronger. And then you do it over and over and over. This is how growth works, okay? This is how growth works. So that's one of the things we do. I deliberately put my people in positions that they don't feel like they're ready for. The reason we work together in the first place is because they're people that can think on their feet and they have their heart wired for excellence. I just know how to extract it. And I know anybody that follow anything that I do, I don't wanna go to the trucks because it's too loud. Anybody that follow anything that I do, you have that shit in you too, any human being does. You just have to be willing to accept that you're gonna be uncomfortable because that's a prerequisite mandatory for success and growth, okay? It is what it is. It's not gonna change, it's a non-negotiable. All right, so one of the things we do, again, extracting excellence, right? Comes with a few things. Unrelenting, unapologetic, relentless commitment to excellence. That's not just a sometimes thing, that's a lifestyle thing. <laughs> lifestyle thing, 
Another thing is quality assurance. I have a new group of interns. We had a young group of interns, but usually we have them older people with experience. So we had some young ones because in their mind, they're interns. So they feel subpar work is tolerated. I said, I hold you to the same standards as my CFO. What is not fair? It's not reasonable. It's like, you want to be right or you want to be great? Hold yourself to that standard because we all, we all have it. And that's another thing too. I refuse. I refuse, and I'll take the heat for this all day. I refuse to allow anybody that's that's close to me that watches this to ever fucking doubt themselves. Sometimes when I put out videos, I do an IG live, and somebody will say, "Oh, this you can't do this because you have to have all this and that." I immediately pull up on that person in DMs, and I video call them, like, "Yo, do not ever plant doubt in this, and do, do not ever plant doubt in the minds of my people." <laughs> Martin takes to be crazy because self-doubt is the fucking cancer that holds us all fucking back. You understand? So whenever somebody says, I can't or it's impossible, what you got to do is you got to make people understand that they can. You got to make them understand that they can. All right? Because everybody can. That's literally the difference. Understanding that mistakes. The thing is this, when you ride a bike, when you step down with your foot, is that a mistake? Did you fuck up? Or is this just part of the learning process? This is part of the, 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 the learning curve, right? But for some reason, when that learning curve process is tied into emotion, somehow we all know how to act. So remember, whenever you feel having that emotional trigger is a crossroads. And whenever you feel that, whenever you feel yourself at that crossroads, you have two options. You can go one way, you can go this way. The left is going right the fuck back to comfort. Or the other way, embracing the shit head on, your insecurities, your fears, whatever, facing that shit head on. And guess what? Nothing bad ever happened from feeling like shit. The bad shit happens from when you stuff yourself with, when, when, when you, when you uh, feast on your hedonistic desires, your short term desires. Like, oh, this food tastes so good. Well, you pay the price a week from now, a month from now. Obesity, unhealthy. You're drinking, you pay the price. You feel good right now? You may not feel, you may not feel, here's another thing. You go out, you may not feel confident. So you get alcohol to fucking get you feel confident, go talk to women. All right, but you got yourself a hangover. But if you just build up that confidence and you go out there and you just build up the resistance to rejection and all that other stuff, you don't need no alcohol. You don't need no shortcuts. You don't need no obesity pills. There's only one way forward and that's discomfort. It's a mandatory prerequisite for growth. Let me say this again. Discomfort, being uncomfortable, is a mandatory prerequisite for growth. That's the price of admission. Question is, you willing to pay that price? Because you got paid. You got paid day in and day out. That's all there is to it.